So hey there and welcome to my um, two month update of my nano tank. And um, I guess the most exciting update that I have to report about is you can already see this guy here checking out the camera is the addition of the dwarf puppers to my tank. Um, I mean, it's an amazing addition, these guys. Are just such a great character. Um, they're very calm. They seem to like really engage with um, the uh, kind of, let's say, tank keeper. Um, and um, very territorial, so they swim around, they explore the environment, and they set little territories um, that they will also kind of defend. So I have two dwarf puffers, and the only reason why I can actually do that in this small 20 liter tank is because it's very heavily planted. Um, so that kind of reduces the um, sight of the fish, so they cannot like. Um, see straight from like one corner to the other um so basically um if like one fish is on let's say the right side of the tank the other one's on the left side of the tank they won't really see each other at first sight and won't cause any kind of issues and i've done a lot of research on the dwarf puffer before i decided to put two into this tank um and i mean you're asking probably also so what about all the other kind of animals that I have in this tank. So as you know, I have um, a ton of red cherry shrimp. You can just see them right here, swimming around down here. Um, then I have the Amano. One is here on the left, bottom left of the plant. Um, and the Autosynclus that you can see here. Um, this is really not a problem at all. Um, and why is this not a problem at all? I mean, as you know, um, set up this tank as a kind of an ecosystem and um, the dwarf puffer will not feed off uh, or on my other kind of inhabitants because I have added also a ton of snails. Um, you can see here, here's a big one. Um, dwarf puffer already took care of him. Um, I added a lot of Malaysian trumpet snails. Um, these guys are great by the way because, um, there's also one over here by the way, they will, when they're alive and not being eaten by the dwarf puffer, um, if you overfeed, they will take care of the, um, let's say, excessive food, and they will also dig into the gravel. If you look here um, into the substrate, you can see kind of um, food residuals falling between the cracks. They will dig into the gravel and then kind of take care of that. So really um, also avoiding the tank from getting uh, excessively dirty and they will also feed up algae um, because since I kind of added the dwarf puffer um, I've been also feeding it feeding a little bit at the initial stage is also kind of feeding the shrimps um, um, just um, with, with my recent videos as you know uh, the vegetables so I think um, nobody was really focused on eating algae, so algae might have taken over a little bit. I mean, it still looks reasonably clean, but um, yeah, so that was, that's just another benefit of having the Malaysian trumpet snail. And um, yeah, so basically they will hopefully um, uh, grow exponentially in population size and then just serve as another food source or like a food source for my dwarf puffer that is hiding right now. Um, both of them are. Um, so again, uh, low maintenance ecosystem, not really any feeding required. Um, and the snails will hopefully um, kind of be able to hide and reproduce um, before they get eaten by the dwarf puffer. So, I mean, yeah, bottom line of the two month update as it relates to maintenance. Um, since my last video, still haven't done any water changes and quality is good. Algae um, is kind of under control. The moss on the top left side, as you can see, has massively grown. I've cut back the plant on the right here just a little bit, um, trimmed it down. And uh, overall, yeah, I mean, the gravel seems to be clean because the shrimp, they're just taking really good care of this, um, just like digging through it. Um, 
and also now with the addition of the um, Malaysian trumpet snails, um, they're also going to be a great addition to the cleanup crew to uh, maintain the tank and um, kind of prevent it from uh, from the, like prevent the water quality from going south. Um, or algae taking uh, taking over here, so yeah, I mean that's it from from my side. Uh, I would love to show you the dwarf puffer guy because I'm just I'm just so excited to have him in my tank. He just adds so much value to the tank, and and he also doesn't disturb kind of the the community character that we have here. Um, I mean he's territorial, and you will see him kind of chase away a shrimp that, that sits on a leaf occasionally, but it will not go and eat it. It will eat the snails, at least haven't seen any shrimps being eaten yet. And I have not uh, noticed a decrease in uh, shrimp population size. So it's just a great addition. Um, and I mean, I will be posting more and more videos um, around the dwarf puffers as they kind of um, get settled here and then kind of set up their territories and I'll also keep you posted how the uh, feeding and the snail population is going. Um, cause, Cause I've done a lot of research on YouTube before I bought these guys and probably a few, few of you listeners and viewers are as well. So um, just be sure to subscribe and like my videos. Um, they'll be very much more to come and uh, if you have any questions or comments please um, leave those in the comment section and uh, I'll also be um, posting some descriptive information in the um, video description just in case um, anything was not really clear so yeah um, just stay posted and uh, see you in the next video bye